guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is Emily. Behind the camera is Lakin, and we are Morse Chicks. If you never try anything new, do you ever really learn anything? Well, that brings me to this beautiful lake. Behind us is Lake Bill Waller in Mississippi. We're gonna give it a try. We heard there's some pretty big bass in here, and I've seen some pictures of some huge saccolate. So that's what we're gonna try to catch today. Wish us luck, and let's go. Look at this little sucker. Oh my goodness. On the cork and little black and chartreuse cream nation tube jig. I was hoping it was a saccolay, but nope. Disappointed. Oh yeah, guys. Got another one. On the tube jig. Whoop, whoop. Fishing these little lilies, the edge of them. Oh, there he goes. Thank you, little buddy. Oh, like you got a huge one. <laughs> There's like jelly looking stuff on there. Yeah, lily pads are pretty disgusting. Yeah. We're both hooked up with the cork and the cream nation. Black and chartreuse. Many tails. Because that seems to be having the best of luck here. Oh, guys. Alright, so this is a little Berkeley power bait. Uh, let me get you the exact, oh, it's a three inch. All right, so this little guy I'm fishing with for hopefully a Sacolet finder perch or even bass. Um, it's a uh, Berkeley power bait reel sticks. It's the three inch black shad. And uh, we practiced with it yesterday and we caught a lot of white perch. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming. I just lost a little, uh, little bass. So let's keep throwing it out. And if you're fishing big lakes like this, this is a big lake. I, I'm not sure exactly how big, but it's got to be at least a hundred acres. Um, because it stretches all the way back over there. I'll try to get a good drone footage of it later. Um, make sure you throw out in the middle of the these these lakes like this, because Especially areas like this, you'll pick up a lot of bass like that. Top water's not doing us anything. So we're gonna put on a little lizard, blue watermelon, six inch lizard, on a little weight of Texas rig. Look at this little guy. Caught on that blue watermelon lizard. And I have a theory, as soon as I stop recording, I'll... Alright, once again, as soon as I mention, hey, my camera's off, I catch another one. Ooh, that little lizard's paying off for a day. It is very fishy, but the fish... They just ain't here. I know there's some big ones in here. Just gotta keep casting. Mm. Alright folks, well, today is April 2nd. I didn't mention that earlier. We started about 9 o'clock this morning and it is almost 5 o'clock right now. We managed to catch about 5 fish. Um, at the end, uh, my phone had died, but I was trying these stumps spread out here uh, just for maybe a saclay, just to say I caught one. And, um, well, I didn't hook into a crappie, I hooked into something extremely big and it snapped my little six pound test line like it was absolutely nothing. So that gave me the hope to come back here and try this lake again. Um, but like I said, we only caught five for hours of fishing. Um, a lot of rowing today. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what, um, what three things actually worked for us today. We got our Cream Nation 
Mini tails, black and chartreuse. We got our Zoom six inch lizard, blue watermelon. And then we have our Berkeley Power Bait Real Sticks, black shad, three inch. So I hope that helps y'all out. If y'all do come to this lake, um, it's massive. Like I said, I think it's actually um, over a hundred acres and we only got to paddle just a little bit of it today. If you've ever fished this lake and you have managed to catch something, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. If you're new to this channel and you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you uh, already subscribed to this channel, thank you again for watching. And as always, tight lines. Roll, be roll, be roll. It's be.